friends here in this video we'll see a problem on Bernoulli's equation here is the question a pipe 200 meter long slopes down at 1 in 100 and tapers from 600 mm diameter at the higher end to 300 mm diameter at the lower end and carries 100 liters per second of oil having specific gravity 0.8 if the pressure gauge at the higher end reads 60 kN per meter square determine number one velocities at the two ends number second pressure at the lower end neglecting all losses so this is the question in front of us whatever is given here i'll write that in the form of data first so let us get started now at first it is given pipe 200 meter long so that is the length of the pipe and it is having a slope of 1 in 100 so slope is given then and tapers from 600 mm diameter at the higher end so that will be d1 for us so that is 0 0.6 meter to 300 mm diameter at the lower end once the diameters are known here i'll calculate the area so area 1 will be 5 by 4 0 0.6 square which is 282.74 into 10 raised to minus 3 area 2 70.69 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter square then that is 300 mm diameter at the lower end and carries 100 liters per second of oil so the fluid is oil discharge is given as 100 liters per second q so i'll convert this it is 100 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube per second then having specific gravity 0 0.8 that is for the oil the specific gravity is given so s suffix oil is 0 0.8 so therefore the density of oil will be 0 0.8 into density of standard liquid which is water so the density of water is 1000 0 0.8 into 1000 so the density of oil is 800 kg per meter cube then if the pressure gauge at the higher end higher end means where the diameter is 600 so that will be section 1 for us so this pressure which is given that is p1 it is 60 kilo newton per meter square 60 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square so determine velocities at the two ends two ends means at the higher end and lower end so i have to find velocity v1 here and velocity v2 next pressure at the lower end so at lower end the pressure is will be p2 and we have to neglect all the losses now once the data have been understood here i'll start with the solution to this problem and since the pipe is tapering it is having a slope i'll draw the diagram and explain
so here is the diagram that this is a tapering pipe at section 1 the diameter is 600 mm at section 2 it is 300 mm and then here some slope is given and that slope is 1 in 100 so with the help of that slope I will get Z1 and Z2 as it is at this common datum so the value of Z2 is 0 and I will calculate Z1 that since Z1 whatever the slope is given that is 1 in 100 when we multiply it with the length of the pipe we are going to get the height so therefore Z1 is 1 upon 100 into the length of the pipe is given 200 meters so therefore Z1 will be 2 meters now once Z1 is known in this problem we have to find the velocities first discharge is given so I'll be using the continuity equation So by using continuity equation a1v1 is equal to a2v2 so therefore v1 will be q upon area 1 that discharge is 100 into 10 raised to minus 3 given that is 100 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube per second area 1 that is 282 at section 1 282.74 into 10 raised to minus 3 so from this I'll get the answer of V1 and it comes out to be 0 0.35 meter per second that is the first answer so similarly for section 2 since v2 is equal to q upon area 2 the value of q is 100 into 10 raised to minus 3 area 2 70.69 into 10 raised to minus 3 so from this I will get the answer of V2 as it is 1.414 meter per second the second answer so once the velocities are known the next question is to find the pressure at section 2 which is the smaller section And for that the P1 value is given us to us. Now I would be applying Bernoulli's equation at section 1 and 2 to find the value of pressure. So for that applying Bernoulli's equation at section 1 and 2 so we have P1 upon rho g plus P1 square by 2g plus Z1 is equal to P2 upon rho g plus V2 square by 2g plus Z2 now P2 is what we have to calculate so I will be keeping pressures on one side and remaining all terms onto the other side so therefore if I send P1 by rho g onto the other side it will be 
having common denominator rho g and it is p2 minus p1 then equal to v1 square is on one side v2 square would be signed there and they have the common denominator 2g similarly z1 is on one side z2 would be signed over there So from this equation, I'll be getting P2. So putting all the values here. P1 is 16 to 10 raised to 3. Now as the type of fluid which is given in the problem is oil. For that the density is 800. Already in the data I have written the value. Density of oil is 800 kg per meter cube. Velocity V1 0 0.35 has been calculated. Similarly, V2 so V1 square 0 0.35 square minus V2 square 0.414 square divided by 2g plus Z1. Z1 is 2 meter and z2 is 0 so when i calculate here i will be getting this entire right hand side as 14.95 into 10 raised to 3 and sending minus 60 into 10 raised to 3 onto the other side so here i have got this answer by getting the right hand side and multiplying 800 into 9.81 onto the other side now this 60 into 10 raised to 3 is will be added so p2 value will be 74.95 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square or that will be 74.95 kilopascal The third answer so when we look into the question there were three things asked velocity v1 v2 and p2 the velocity v1 is 0 0.35 meter per second v2 1.414 meter per second and pressure p2 at last 74.95 kilopascal once all the unknowns have been solved the problem gets complete